Super Mario Bros. Movie 2 – What Can We Expect? The Super Mario Bros. movie was a wild success for Nintendo and proved that video game movies could actually be good. Let's be honest, video game movies don't have a very good track record. With the success of the Super Mario Bros. movie, which totaled an estimated $1.3 billion at the box office, it's likely that it won't take Nintendo long to get a sequel in the works. While it may be hard to match the hype around the first movie, which went on to become the third highest grossing animated film of all time, many people are excited to see what Nintendo has in store for Mario's next theatrical feature. In this video, we are going to talk about everything that you can expect from the next Super Mario Bros. movie. Heads up, potential spoilers for the first Super Mario Bros. movie lie ahead. Let's start off first with a quick recap of the first movie. The story sees Mario embarking on an epic quest to save Luigi, who has been kidnapped by Bowser. Along the way, he links up with familiar characters like Princess Peach, Toad, and even Donkey Kong. Without spoiling too much of the meat of the movie, the post credit scene is a long zooming shot onto a green Yoshi egg that is about to hatch. If this doesn't get you hyped for a sequel, I don't know what will. It seems like Nintendo was setting up for another movie from the start, but was also leaving some room in case the movie didn't meet expectations. In fact, producer Chris Melodandri stated in an interview with Bloomberg that he was surprised at the success of the film. When asked about a sequel, Melodandri stated only, I'm not allowed to talk about that right now. Well, of course, fans took that as a definite confirmation of a sequel and quickly began talking about new storylines and characters Nintendo could work in. Of course, there's Yoshi, whose appearance in the post credit scene indicates a strong chance that he will be included in the next movie. Even though a herd of wild Yoshis can be seen in the film, the green Yoshi that pals around with Mario and his crew was absent from the film. There's a lot that can be done with Yoshi as a character, who even has his own video game series to pull lore from. Of course, Yoshi doesn't speak, so it's hard to speculate on a voice actor for the character. Two less likely familiar faces from the Mario series that could make an appearance in the next movie are Wario and Waluigi. There's no doubt that these two characters have a passionate fanbase, many of which were disappointed when they weren't featured in the film. These evil counterparts have series big villain potential and could play the role of the main baddie in the next movie. It's likely that Nintendo will introduce a new villain since Bowser is, well, out of commission for a while after the events of the first movie. When considering actors for the role, fans have thrown out names that include Danny DeVito, Pedro Pascal, and even Tim Robinson. Wario has his own game series as well to pull plot points from, so it would likely be easy to work him into the story in an interesting way. That being said, there is one villain who is better suited to battle Mario and his Mushroom Kingdom pals in the next movie. What could be better than little Bowser Jr. showing up to avenge his dad? Bowser Jr. first made an appearance in Super Mario Sunshine and went on to make several small appearances in other games. If Nintendo and Illumination decide to go this way, it could make for at least a fun subplot, even if he isn't the main villain. Since Bowser Jr. is a kid, it would make sense for a younger voice actor to play the role. There are, however, plenty of adult voice actors who do kid voices, so it's up in the air with this one. Another cool addition that we can expect in the next movie is a love interest for poor, lonely Luigi. Mario and Peach are the power couple of the video game world, but there is another love story that is often overlooked. Princess Daisy has long been paired up with Luigi, who was desperately missing a love interest of his own as his character began to be more fleshed out over the years. Not only would this enhance Luigi's story, but Peach's as well. Daisy and Peach were originally from the same kingdom, so having her show up could provide some additional lore for Peach or plot points focusing on her past. Anya Taylor-Joy was a fantastic choice for the voice of Princess Peach, so it's likely that another high-profile actress like Haley Steinfeld or Rachel Brosnahan would play the role of Daisy. Another popular character that could make an appearance is Rosalina. We already saw Lumalee in the first movie, so it's not unlikely that Rosalina is too far behind. It seems like some foreshadowing is already in place for Rosalina's appearance, so it will be interesting to see if the story moves out into space and centers around the Super Mario Galaxy franchise. Rosalina is a very elegant character, so a voice actor that can match that energy would be best. Some fans have thrown out names like Elle Fanning, Emilia Clarke, or even Gal Gadot for the role of Rosalina. 
Now, there is a possibility that Mario could take the back seat during a portion of the next movie and have the center stage given to Luigi. This would open up a huge world of possible storylines inspired by the Luigi's Mansion series. This would mean famous characters like Professor E. Gad would be worked into the film. This could lead to an interesting direction that the next film could go in. Even if it's not in the next movie, there's a big chance that Luigi and E. Gad will have their time on the big screen in the future. Before we move on, please take a second to like the video and subscribe if you are enjoying the video. Now, back to the video. One fan theory for the next film that is less likely is the addition of more Donkey Kong characters. Characters like King K. Rule, Diddy Kong, or the rest of the DK crew are not likely to make an appearance in the next film for one main reason. That is because Nintendo wants to save them for their own movie. Of course! With the wild success of the Super Mario Bros. movie, it's likely that Nintendo will keep as many of their IPs separate as possible, so they can potentially get their own movie outside of the Mario universe. The Donkey Kong series has such a large cast of unique and interesting characters and storylines that there's no way we won't see a Donkey Kong movie sometime in the future. So because of that, it's doubtful that the next Mario movie will feature members of the DK crew or the legendary DK rap. There are also several smaller characters that could make an appearance, like Petey Piranha from Super Mario Sunshine, or Lakitu, the classic recurring enemy and experienced cameraman. The Koopalings could also make an appearance, especially if they are going with the Bowser Jr. route for the story. The Koopalings would be a great addition to the next movie, and prove to be quite a challenge for Mario and his friends. Casting for the Koopalings would be interesting, as they all have big personalities. Actors like Alison Brie, Taika Waititi, and Bill Burr have been some of the names thrown out for the roles of the Koopalings. Now the next big question. When will the next Super Mario Bros. movie come out? Well, if you base it off the release schedule for the first movie, around 2033. That's right, the first movie was in production for over 10 years! While the time and effort really shows, it's not logical to think that it would take that long for a sequel to release. Luckily for us, the success of the first movie will likely encourage Nintendo to fast-track a sequel as soon as possible. A realistic expectation for a sequel could be sometime in 2025. Of course, this is all unconfirmed, but based on the box office results, Nintendo is probably getting ready to go all in on video game movies in the next few years. What do you hope to see in the next Super Mario Bros. movie? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.